life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Not feeling it much these days. Not during social isolation and lockdown in your home, unable to get out too much. But you might even think, are those even real, really Christian values or spiritual values? But I thought, really, they are. There's nothing wrong about wanting life. God created life. He gave us life. He gave us eternal life. He wants us to have abundant life. Liberty, he set us free. He wants us to live free. He doesn't want us to live in bondage. And the pursuit of happiness all through the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus talks about the blessed life, or the, literally the word means the happy life. God created us that way, so these are not wrong desires. The question really is, how do we go about finding those fulfilled? That's, that's the real question. And the psalm that we have today for our verse, verses of the week, out of Psalm chapter 1, and I'm really excited about this because the next three weeks we're going to go through six verses, Psalm 1, and try and memorize the whole thing together. We'll do two this week. And the verses this week read, How happy or blessed is the one who does not walk in the advice of the wicked, or stand in the pathway of sinners, or sit in the company of mockers. Instead, his delight is in the Lord's instruction, and he meditates on it day and night. You think about this, that God has given us everything we need to be happy. It is his desire that we be fulfilled and to be happy. But where are you going to find it? Where are you going to find that fulfillment? And I think we can look at it two ways. We can, we can look at it horizontally, at the popular culture, the cosmos, the worldview, and look all around trying to fit the pieces together and make the best of it to be become happy, to become fulfilled. Or we can look vertically. We can look up, look around or look up. And I think there's a big difference. And this is exactly what the psalmist is, is talking to us about. This is one of the very first psalms that I memorized when I was younger. And it, it does, does us so much good to just get our, our thinking right. He contrasts two different kinds of lives. Those that are looking on a horizontal plane to try to find life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And those that look vertically and look up to find life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You see, all of these things for, are fulfilled in God, in Christ, and communicated to us through His Word. And so when I meditate upon His Word, it begins to transform in my life and bring me to that joy and that happiness. I look at it a few ways. It, it goes in your ear, you're hearing these things, you're thinking in your mind as you meditate, you ruminate on, on these things. It's like a cow chews its cud over and over. It goes down into your heart where you process it and value what, what you're going to set your sight on. And then finally, it's played out in actions, your hands and your feet. So in your ear, to your mind, to your heart, and out your life. And this leads to a blessed life, a happy life. So when I think of this, it's, it's not that we're unaware or we don't have situation awareness, but we're not allowing the popular culture to control our values or the way that we think or what we're pursuing. We're finding all of that as we look to God, he communicates what he needs to through Christ and we read his word. So when I meditate upon his word and delight in his word, he brings all of these blessings that he begins to talk about in Psalm 1. So I hope to start out this week, first two verses, try to memorize them, meditate on them, think on these things, and, and no matter what the circumstances are horizontally, we know that we can find the joy, the happiness, the peace, the life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness as we take that vertical look. Have a great week.